Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if this is the first video that you're seeing of me, welcome. My name is Kirsten and I post home and lifestyle videos right here on my channel. And today I wanted to share with you all of my current favorites. I have everything from home all the way to snacks and shoes and beauty items. So definitely stick around to the end of this video and see all of the things that I've been loving. So we're gonna go ahead and start with some home items since that's what this channel is all about. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to share with you are these linen curtains, and I apologize for being so close, but I really wanted you to see the texture. I got these at Target, and they're such good quality. I had been looking for linen curtains for a while, and I couldn't find any for under $100, and these were less than half the price, and I also didn't want any with those large rings on the top, so these were perfect. And they just make my home so much cozier, and I really love the feel of them, the look of them. They're just perfect. So here I'm just showing you a wider shot. Um, they have a variety of sizes, all the way from 84 inches to over 100 inches. I ended up getting the 95 inch size. Um, they also have a few other colors, so definitely be sure to check them out if you're in the market for some linen curtains. Along those same lines, I wanted to share with you these linen cushions that I got from the Casa Luna collection. These match perfectly with those curtains and they're really soft. They actually came with this cushion insert that was super fluffy and very cozy. I, however, did want to use these as decor pillows and wanted them to be choppable. As you can see so the best part about these is that they do come with a zipper so you can definitely remove the insert and just replace it with a new one so that's exactly what I did and these are still super plush and super cozy and they chop so I really love these definitely recommend those the next item that I've been loving and oddly enough it is from Target again this is from the threshold line is this candle. So as you can see, this is the crackling wood wick candle and there it is. And it really just makes the most beautiful, peaceful sounds when it's lit. So I definitely recommend this candle. This is the scent that I got, coconut and honey, and it's by far the best. It smells so good in the home. So I love this candle and it really has a super long burn time because of the wooden wick. So definitely recommend this candle. I've had it for several months now and it still is almost done but still going strong so while we're on the topic of home i actually recently got a package and opened it up to these beautiful flowers from rose forever so these are the long lasting flowers they're supposed to last up to a year by the way i don't mind the tape in the background i am currently measuring out the space to see if i can put an art print or something else behind there but anyway, back to the flowers. I know that preserved roses like this one recently got a bad reputation just because of how expensive they can be. But I promise this company in comparison to other sellers really retails their flowers for about half the price. And they've also given me a discount code, which I will enter right here. So you can get $15 off of your bouquet. Another great thing about these is that they're preserved only using natural oils. So they're definitely doing things the right way with this company. And I think they just look really nice in this little area. So definitely be sure to check out Rose Forever. They have a bunch of deals going on. So I'm sure you can get a pretty decent price. And they do last for an entire year, so it is a good investment to make if you do love having flowers in your home. I really love them, and I think they go so nicely with my new ice bucket, so <laughs> that's what's going on over here. And now moving on to some kitchen items. So here in my kitchen, I wanted to start with some glasses. First off, this mason jar, which is so cute. This is just a mason jar. Everyone has these or knows of them. But what's so special about them is these lids, which I recently got from Amazon. And I actually found these on a blogger's website that I love. She's a vegan blogger and she goes by Veggiekins and she showed these lids in her videos and this just makes for the perfect to-go cup. Now I will say these are best for car holders, but if you are traveling with them, I did have a leak. So if you plan on putting them in your purse or something like that, definitely get the lid that is completely sealed and does not have this hole inside. I find that that works best for purses and things like that. If you're not so interested in that, you can also purchase these they're like beer can glasses or soda can glasses. I actually purchased these at Target, but I've had these so long, I'm pretty sure they don't sell them anymore, but they sell an almost identical glass at Crate and Barrel or CB2, so I'll definitely link that below. I use these for everything from water to juice, soda. They're just the perfect size. I believe this is 12 ounces. 
and they're really nice they're they're just super pretty i love the look of them and i use these almost every day okay here i have yet another cup this time this one is plastic so if you are prone to dropping things or really just don't like glassware this is perfect for you i love how it's fluted and it just looks so pretty when you fill it up i've actually been making homemade bubble tea you can see i actually have my tapioca pearls right there but these are perfect for my bubble tea they're a bigger size i believe they're about 16 ounces um, i'll show you in comparison to the beer can glasses they're a lot taller and definitely hold more liquid so these are perfect for my bubble tea and of course these are perfect for any other drinks as well while we're in the kitchen i wanted to show you this incredible book it's a cocktail book called the home bartender so this is just a book with a whole bunch of recipes and actually if you flip to the table of contents it separates the drinks based on alcohol so vodka rum gin they also have tequila let's see tequila whiskey it's just amazing and what i love most about this book is that they have these widespread pictures of what the drink is supposed to look like like how beautiful is that and then really they're only supposed to have about four ingredients four main ingredients and then you know sometimes they'll have garnish and they tell you exactly how to make it it's just perfect the pictures are so stunning i mean let's see i'm just going to show you a few of them they're just so nice and Really, this gives me a lot of ideas when I'm making cocktails. So I'm loving having this in my home and I'm definitely getting lots of use out of it for when I make drinks. So this book is amazing, definitely a favorite right now. And now I have to do it. I have to show you guys my new pan. I'm sure you guys have seen this before or heard of it. This is the Always Pan. And what's so great about it is that it is a nonstick pan. It actually makes cooking so much easier and just more fun because I'm not having to like scrape off the pan or struggle with cleaning it and things like that. It also has this amazing spoon rest and comes with the spoon or spatula. And it also comes with a steamer basket and all the fix-ins. So it really takes the place, I think they say, of about eight different pans. It can boil, it can pan fry, it can steam. It, it really does a lot of things. So this pan is perfect if you're looking for a pan. I definitely love it. I've cooked with it a few times. And this was actually a Christmas gift from December, but they were back ordered because they're getting so many orders and I just got it at the beginning of this month. So I was super excited to recommend this one to you. Next up, I wanted to share these bamboo straws. So obviously they're made from bamboo, so they're pretty sustainable. But what I like most about them is that the hole is a bit wider than an average straw. So I pretty much use these for my smoothies and when I'm drinking something that's a bit thicker and they work perfectly for that. They're still a bit wet because I just washed them, but these are amazing for smoothies. Definitely recommend these. And then last up for kitchen organization and kitchen items, I wanna show you these pantry containers. So I had actually been looking for pantry containers for a while just to kind of organize my pantry a bit because it was looking a little bit overwhelming. So these labels I actually purchased from a seller on Etsy. I will also link them. They're amazing. But these are probably the best jars that I've seen for food items. I'm pretty sure I got them because they had a five-star rating on Amazon. So they're definitely good. They came with actually three sizes. I haven't filled them all yet. And the set that I got came with six altogether. So two of each size. And I really like that they have a screw-on lid just because I feel like it seals my food better. I will show you, I actually have another container here where I store my matcha. But this one is a push-down lid. Okay, so I've just opened it, but this one you just kind of push on. And I feel like it is, you know, storing my matcha well, but for some reason it just doesn't make me feel secure in that it's super sealed, even though it does have that rubber grip on it. So I almost prefer the screw-on lids that I showed you in these containers. I think they're just much better for my food and I'm really liking these. I actually might even buy more. You can get them in like a four pack or all one size if you want. So I'm definitely gonna have to invest in some more. These were pretty pricey. They were about $40 for a pack of six, but I really did need them and I will use them forever. Okay, so now moving on to what I consider the best part the snacks we always need a good treat here and there and i am the queen of snacks as i said my pantry got a little crazy there for a moment so i had to cool it a little bit but i do want to share with you a few good snack recommendations so here we go we're starting off in the fridge um i just wanted to show you guys this amazing drink this is Olipop Cherry Vanilla Sparkling Tonic so as you can see this has prebiotics and it says it supports digestive health 
but it's also just super delicious. This is actually my favorite flavor, cherry vanilla. They also have strawberry vanilla and orange squeeze and a few cola flavors. I have tried orange squeeze and strawberry vanilla and I loved those as well. Uh, I didn't really like the ginger beer flavor. That was not my favorite, but maybe you might be a fan, but this one is so, so good. And it's not bad for you. It's a sparkling drink, which I love. Uh, just to kind of give me some extra flavor and make me feel like I'm kind of drinking soda without actually drinking it. So I definitely recommend these Olipop drinks. They're super amazing. I just buy them at my local grocery store. Okay, next up I had to share these skinny dipped treats. Uh, they have the almonds, they have cashews. Um, I actually prefer the almonds in the dark chocolate peanut butter flavor, but they didn't have them at my store. But these cashew ones with the salted caramel, oh my goodness. So I used to always purchase chocolate covered nuts, but I find that they would be too heavy on the chocolate. So you're not really getting as many nuts. But as you can see here, it says snack more with less on. So this is what a standard chocolate covered nut would look like. And this is how much they use. And it's just, oh my goodness, it's so delicious. It's just the perfect balance. And I really, really love these. All the flavors are good so far that I've tried, um, but highly recommend this one. Next, I would recommend the dark chocolate peanut butter and then these. So definitely grab these if you see them at your market. They are really delicious. Here is another snack I've been loving. These are more along the lines of trail mix, but they're the tangerine vanilla cashew macadamia nut mix from Sahel Snacks. Sahali? Sahel? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, these are incredible. These are actually um, dried mangoes and they're sweetened with, you know, vanilla and uh, just a perfect combination. Let's see if we've got some good nutrition facts. No artificial flavors, no preservatives, gluten free. You know, they do have 220 calories, but this kind of gives you a nice description of the taste. It says it started with a creamy orange and vanilla frozen ice pop. So basically they're playing off of the creamsicle uh, it's just so good. It's really, really nice flavors all together and definitely love these. I spoke about how I've been making my own bubble tea at home and these are the tapioca pearls that I've been using. I wanted to show you. These are another purchase from Amazon and these are just ready in five minutes. As you can see, they're super easy to make. Um, and you just kind of have to boil them in water and then you add your own sweetener. It can be honey or brown sugar. But I basically make about half a cup at a time and these last me a pretty long time. So definitely if you want to try making your own bubble tea, I don't know if you guys are interested in that. These are the best tapioca pearls for that. Okay, we're now going to head over into my bathroom so I can share with you some beauty favorites. Starting with this towel that I have here. So this is the original makeup eraser. Uh, you can get this from Sephora or any other beauty supply store. And this, all you need is some water and this really takes off your makeup so well. I used to use makeup remover wipes and those are just bad for the environment and also not great for your face. I found that I was having to scrape off my makeup. So this just makes it so light and easy. And I definitely recommend this. It's also reusable. So I just throw it in the wash when I'm done and it's good as new. Now coming over to my medicine cabinet, I want to share with you my favorite moisturizer, I think so far. This is actually kind of new to me, but I've been using it for a couple of weeks. This is the Origins Ginseng Gel Moisturizer, and it is super lightweight and it smells so nice. It smells just like their other products, kind of like orangey, very nice and fresh. And again, it really doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So this one is gonna be a perfect one for summer and I think just really all year round because I have been using it in the winter, but I really love it. I also have the little eye cream and I don't really know if this is doing anything for me. It claims to brighten and depuff, but I haven't really seen many results with this. So just the moisturizer is my absolute favorite. So now I really wanted to show you this pair of shoes that I've been absolutely loving. These are from Zara and can we just talk about the square toe and the lace up detail? I'm so loving these. Let's see if I can actually try them on for you. How good do they look even with jeans? They just dress up your whole outfit and obviously they're not tied correctly right now, but I think they look really good with jeans and even with a dress, like they're just so skinny on the ankle so you can really pair them with a lot of things. I obviously haven't worn them yet just because I'm not going many places, but I might even bring these out for Easter, I'm not sure. 
So I'm loving these and I can't wait to wear them out. So those are definitely my favorite shoes at the moment, even though I haven't gotten much wear out of them. And now I actually want to show you guys some TV favorites. Okay, so we're starting with Amazon Prime. I have to show you guys this show that I've absolutely loved. This actually I finished super quickly. It's only one season. So it's called The Wilds and it's basically about these girls who think that they're going on some sort of school retreat but their plane ends up crashing so a lot of them wake up on an island or in the water and they have to find their way to shore and basically just survive in the wild without food and resources but there is a twist so I don't want to reveal too much but this is such a good show. I definitely recommend that you watch it. It's so, so good. Okay, so now we're moving on to Netflix and I wanted to share with you this show called Lupin. It's only five episodes long, so I'll show you here. I've actually finished them all already, but there's only five episodes and this show leaves you wanting more, let me tell you. It's actually French-based, so I just watched it with subtitles, but basically it tells the story of this guy who is committing thefts to get justice for his dad who was wrongly accused and sent to jail for stealing this like luxurious necklace and this this show is incredible obviously he's like a vigilante but you're really rooting for him throughout the whole show so it's just definitely a good show to watch and i am really excited for hopefully a second part i think this has to be renewed for another season because five episodes is just not enough okay so here is actually another one that i've been loving it's called Ginny and georgia and it's so cute uh, this one is more of a lighthearted show about a mother-daughter relationship, but obviously it does get kind of into some troubles that they're having. It talks about, you know, real life issues and things like that. So this is really great. Again, another show with only one season. I've seen it all and it's just such a good lighthearted show. Uh, but here we go. Behind her eyes. This... <laughs> this one is another limited series, but so, so good. It's just, this one gets really, really crazy. Um, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's about a woman who meets a man and, you know, they kind of start forming a relationship, but he's already married. Um, but you just, throughout the show, you can't tell who's really the good guy, who's the bad person. And um, it just leaves you guessing. And then the ending just blew my mind. You You really won't expect it at all, so... I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready for this one. This show is wild. So anyway, that was it. Those were my monthly favorites. I really hope you liked this video. This is actually my first time filming one of these. So if you did like this video, I would be happy to film some more. I hope you also liked the style of this video. I kind of just took you around the apartment and showed you all my favorite things. I've seen a few people do this lately and I really am loving those. I feel like they're just more exciting instead of just like a regular sit down video. So definitely let me know what you thought of this video. I know so many of you guys have been requesting an apartment tour and I did kind of give you a little sneak peek today, but I promise it is coming soon. Like maybe even next week. So I don't know, I'm really gonna try to get good footage of the apartment so I can show you it all. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. I will continue to post home videos like this one and lifestyle videos. So I hope you guys are along for the ride with me. I'm so looking forward to seeing you guys in my next one and I will catch you there. Bye.